So I'm continuing here with Virgil's bucolics, Ecloga Prima, the very first Eclog, from line 14 through to line 22. Firstly, I'm going to read it in the synthetical order. That's a rearranged Latin order, adding words in to make it more intelligible. Then in Virgil's Latin, and then we're going to look at the translation, then go back to Virgil, and then look at the notes for this section from 14 through to 22. Namque conixa gemellos foitus modo hic interdensas corelos, illa reliquit eos spem gregis, a me in nuda silice, saipe si me amens non fuisset laiva, ego memeni nostras quercus tractas de caelo praedicere hoc malum nobis. Saipe sinistra cornix praedixit id ab cava ilice. Sed tamen o titere da tu nobis qui iste des Deus sit, and then Titurus goes on, Ego stultus, o oh, uh, meliboi, putavi urbem, quam urbem, homines dicunt Romam, esse urbem, similem huic, nostrae urbi mantuae, quo nos pastores, saepe solemus de pellere tenros foitus ovium. So the, um, I'm going to go through the translation now and then go to Virgil. So, namque modo, for just now, hic, here, interdensas corilos, among the dense hazel bushes, conixa gemellos, having weaned twins, reliquit, she's abandoned them, ah, alas. Spem gregis, the hope of my flock, in nuda silice, on the bare flint rocks. Memini, I remember. Quercus, oaks, tactas de caelo, touched from heaven, that's smitten by lightning. Saipe, often, si mens non fuisset laiva, if my mind had not been light-headed. Praedicere, predict, hoc malum nobis, this terrible evil to us. Saipe, frequently, sinistra cornix, did the ill-boding crow. Praedixit, predicted, ab cava ilice, from the hollow home oak tree. Said da nobis, but give to us, tell us, in other words, tamen, by the by, titere, titeris, addressing titeris, qui iste Deus sit, who that God may be. And then titeris responds, urbam, the city, quam dicunt Romam, which they call Rome. Meliboe, Meliboeus. Ergo stultus, I, a fool, putavi, I thought, similem, it was similar, huic nostrae, this one of ours, quo pastores, to which shepherds, saipe solemus, many times are accustomed, de pellere, to drive, teneros phytos, the tender, offspring ovium of the sheep. So that's the, <coughs> pardon me, the translation. Let's go now to Virgil himself. Hic interdensas corelos modo namque gemellos spem gregis ah silice in nuda conixa reliquit. Saepe malum hoc nobis, 
si mens non laiva fuisset. De caelo tactas memeni praedicere quercus. Saipe senistra cava praedixit tabildice cornix. Sed tamen, iste Deus qui sit da titre nobis. Urbam, quam dicunt Romam, meliboe putavi stultes ego huic nostrae similem quo saipe solemus pastores ovium teneros de pelre foetus. So that's, that's the Virgil in its original form. Um, it's a very beautiful verse. And now we're going to look at Edward's free translation. Um, for having just now, over there among the thick hazel bushes, weaned twin kids, she's abandoned them, alas. The hope of my flock on the bare stones. I remember, if my mind had not been rendered silly, that our oak trees, wrecked by the lightning, did repeatedly predict this disaster on us. Frequently did the ill-boding crow predict it from the hollow oam oak tree. Yet, give me to understand, Titiris, who that god of yours is. And Titiris then responds, the city which they call Rome, uh, Meliboeus, I foolishly imagined to resemble this of ours, to which we shepherds are often accustomed to drive the tender young of our ewes. And then the notes on this matter. So Servius says that conixa is here used for enixa to avoid an hiatus after nuda. And Lacerda says that conixa, independent of this, is preferable to enixa as it expresses a difficult delivery or birth. So that's the um, hic interdensas corelos mod namque gemellos spem gregis a silice in nuda conixa reliquit. And the next thing, laiva, silly, incredulous, stupid. Servius interprets it contraria, as in wayward, um, not following the rules. This adjective is ambiguous in its meaning, sometimes employed, as it is here, to uh, predict evil, and sometimes, as in the second book and the ninth books of the Aeneid, to um, denote goodness. This difference can be attributed, says Edwards, to the difference between the Greek and Roman manner of predicting the future of augury, as the former always considered the right hand to be auspicious, and the latter, on some occasions, the left hand was auspicious. Verse 18 is lacking in several of the oldest manuscripts. So verse 18 is saipe senistra, cava praedixit abilice cornix. So it's missing in some manuscripts. Perhaps some transcriber inserted it here as being very appropriate when he found ante sinistra cava monuisse tabilice cornix in the ninth eclogue, verse 15. Um, and we shall speak of the crow and of right-hand omens and left-hand omens when we come to that verse eventually. The elex is a species of oak tree and in English it's called the home oak, H-O-L-M. Iste Deus, that god of yours, so ille Deus would be that god of his or hers or theirs. And hic Deus, this god of mine or this god of ours. And yet many copies of this manuscript have ille for iste and some have quis for qui. Da and acipe are often put for dic and audi. So there are variations in the manuscript tradition of, of this. Romam, Rome, which by the best usage is pronounced as if written room in, in English. Room. Room was not built in a day. This city, 
in the days of Augustus is said to have been 50 miles in a circumference and a population of approximately 4 million. Stultus ego, I foolish man. Or else we may construe stultus with putawi and render it foolishly. An adjective being often by the Roman idiom used when adverb would be proper in English. Huic nostrae, this city of ours, Mantua. So we can read this stultus ego, I foolish man, or stultus putawi, where stultus is um, modifying putawi, even though <coughs> stultus is not an adverb. So let's go back to the actual text of Virgil. Hic interdensas corellos, modernamque gemellos, spem gregis a sidice in nuda conixa reliquit, saepe malum hoc nobis, si mens non laiva fuit set, de caelo tactas memani praedicere quercus, saepe sinistra cava praedixit ab ilice cornix, sed tamen Iste Deus qui sit da titere nobis urbam, quam dicunt Romam, meliboi, putavi stultus ego, huic nostrae similem, quod saepe solemus pastores ovium teneros de pelere faitus. And finally, before I leave this section, I'm going to read over the synthetical order once again. Namque Conixa gemellos, foetus, modo hic interdensas corilos, illa reliquit eos spem gregis, a me in nuda silice, saepe, si mea mens, non fuisset laiva, ego memeni nostras quercus tactas de caelo, praedicere hoc malum nobis, saepe senistra cornix praedixit id ab cava ilice, sed tamen, o titere, da tu nobis, qui iste Deus sit. And then Titerus responde, ego stultus, o meliboi, putavi urbem, quam urbem homines dicunt Romam, esse urbem similem, <coughs> Huic nostrae urbi mantuae, quo nos pastores saepe solemus de pellere teneros foetus ovium. And that brings us to the end of this section up to line 22.